بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum hi guys welcome to another knowledge sharing video in this video i will discuss about one common fault related to siemens cp341.2 point, point communication module it is generally known as modbus communication module the cp341 communication module enables to exchange data between automation devices or computers by means of point to point connection in my case we are using cp341 in siemens smatic pcs7 to receive and transmit data to different variable frequency drives low voltage breakers and medium voltage breakers pc7 receives data of different parameters like frequency current voltage and status of devices through cp341 communication module sometimes pc7 unable to update parameters which are exchanging through cp341 communication module all related parameters of variable frequency drives and breakers become freeze due to which desk operator of pcs7 unable to get real status of these devices it is happened due to communication failure of cp341 module which you can see here in this rack three cp341 communication modules are installed from right side first and second modules transmit data and receive data leds are blinking whereas all leds of third modules are off which shows there is no communication between cp341 and other devices even system fault led is off due to which pcs7 unable to generate any system alarm that's why operator unable to take action immediately why it happens still i don't know the reason even i am unable to get from installation manual of cp341 module I am still behind this issue if I got something useful I will share with you if you know the reason then I will appreciate if you share in comments however I can show you simple method to restore communication between CP341 module and other devices you can see downside of each module there is mounting screw which keep module in place perfectly first carefully unscrew the module by using 4.5 mm flat screw driver then unplug module from lifting it downside lift until all three leds switched on keep like this till 20 to 30 seconds then push back module to its normal position tighten the screw properly to ensure proper connection with back plane wait for some time and keep eye on transmit data and receive data leds these will start to blink which is indication of active communication now you can see third module transmit data and receive data leds start to blink same as other two modules okay guys hope this simple method will be helpful for you inshallah see you in next knowledge sharing video till that time ma salama allah hafiz bye bye